summer usually stands for uh, a lot of flowers. Of course, we have lots of beautiful flowers here in Anderson Seed and Garden, but also stands for harvest. And uh, tomatoes are one thing that people really love to harvest, especially all of our gardeners that come in here. They love to harvest tomatoes. And uh, I've got some beautiful large tomato plants, but uh, to get them to look like this through the summer and to produce flowers and to produce the fruit that you want, uh, there's a couple steps we can do so that you can have the most successful tomatoes that uh, you've ever had. Growing tomatoes in containers works really well, and you can use the same principles out in your garden if you want to just grow your tomatoes out in your garden. But uh, you can use any type of pot. Uh, this happens to be a peat pot, but you can use a ceramic or a terracotta or plastic or whatever works for you. The key is to start with the best soil of, uh, available, and the Fertilum Ultimate Potting Mix is wonderful soil. So we use the Ultimate Potting Mix as our soil for our, our, all of our plants in our containers, and it works just wonderfully. It's just it's uh, peat moss, perlite, vermiculite, and a little bit of humate. There's no bark, there's no extra added junk in there. Start with the best soil that you can. The Fertilum Ultimate Potting Mix is one of those. And, uh, you know, the size of your plant doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. This is a nice four inch size tomato. It's uh, the variety is called Delicious and the Delicious uh, produces a really big tomato and uh, they do really quite well in containers but they'll do great out in your garden as well too. So start with a good plant, you know, pick a good pot, definitely use the best soil possible and then what we like to do as we're planting is we'll work a little bit of slow release fertilizer into the soil. So our natural guard tomato and vegetable food is uh, an organic natural natural source of all kinds of nutrient. It's got a high burst of calcium in there to help with blossom end rot and calcium deficiency in the plants, which is a common problem that we see in, in, in tomatoes that are grown in containers. Plus it has a whole bunch of mycorrhiza, microbes, and uh, natural bacteria that are really, really beneficial for your soil and will make your plants look great. So the Natural Guard uh, tomato and vegetable food is a wonderful way to start off with. Once you get your soil in, get your tomato planted, work it into the soil around your plant and try and do it about every six weeks to keep the plant uh, fertilized and happy with all the food and nutrient value that it needs. I mentioned blossom end rot. Uh, blossom end rot looks just like this. On a tomato that's ripening, you'll see a darkened brown spot down on the bottom of the tomato. And it can happen on uh, tomatoes that are turning red. It can happen on just tomatoes that are green as well too. But it usually happens from a calcium deficiency in the plant. So to uh, really increase your yield, uh, the calcium chloride that's in the yield booster here will not only help take care of the blossom end rot so you don't see those black darkened sunken spots on the bottom of your tomatoes, but it'll actually help your tomatoes produce more fruit. So really easy to take this maybe once a month throughout the summertime and just do a light spray on the plants so that uh, the tomatoes can get the calcium that they need to help them produce ripe tomatoes. So this will help them actually ripen up and also set more fruit and prevent the blossom end rot from happening on your tomatoes. If you're having a hard time getting your tomatoes to, uh, to set fruit, say they're producing a lot of blossoms like this one right here is producing a lot of blossoms, but if it's not setting any fruit, uh, we can help the plant set some fruit as well too. Uh, the, the tomato and pepper set from Fertilome has some natural uh, growth regulators and hormones in there that will actually get your plant to start setting fruit. So if you have a lovely, beautiful tomato plant that just doesn't want to start setting fruit, again, just a light spray, just a light spray on the plant will, uh, will encourage the plant to really start setting fruit and uh, get that fruit to start to develop. And it's a, it's been a common problem for a lot of gardeners the last couple of years that the tomato plants are producing blossoms, but they're not producing the fruit that they want. And so a little bit of tomato and pepper set works on uh, squashes and cucumbers and melons as well as tomatoes and peppers. So this is a very versatile product that will get your plants to start to set fruit. Now, throughout the summertime, to keep the plant looking healthy, we've used a slow-release fertilizer in the pot, but every time you water it, that, that nutrient kind of leaches out the bottom of the pot and so to, to keep them looking really good we'll use a water soluble fertilizer like the blooming and rooting and this has a really high phosphorus I'm going to turn this over so you can see it's a 959.8 fertilizer that middle number that phosphorus that's what stimulates flower production and fruit production and it's great to keep your tomatoes producing like crazy throughout the summertime so we'll use the blooming and rooting in addition to our tomato and vegetable food throughout the summertime to keep them producing 
once a week. Use your blooming and rooting once a week on your plants. They'll, they'll need to be watered almost every day, but if you use the blooming and rooting once a week, not only will they produce more blossoms, but they'll produce a lot more fruit, and that fruit will ripen up, and you'll be able to use it a lot quicker. So a lot of different tricks we can use to keep our tomato plants looking good. Uh, as they get bigger, uh, a larger cage would really help. This is a handy cage, and uh, these are made right here in Cache Valley. And the handy cages, uh, very sturdy, they last a long time. You take the two pieces apart, you can put them in together in a large tomato plant without breaking the branches off the plant. So as this plant gets bigger, we could actually take this smaller cage off and put the larger cage in and have it just do a great job at keeping the tomato supported up off the ground and uh, help it to produce and to ripen up the fruit a lot quicker. So the tomato cages really help to get that sunlight in there and ripen that fruit up quicker. So a lot of different options, a lot of different things you can do to keep your plants looking good and to keep those tomatoes coming all summer long.